Jason, thank you. I want to get to some breaking news right now out of St. Pete, where officials are investigating a fatal crash. They say a car drove off the interstate from the I-375 off-ramp. Our McKenna King joins us live from there. McKenna, what can you see and how many people were in that car? Well, Isabel, we do know that that car had just one occupant inside and officials with FHP tell us it drove off of the I-375 on-ramp. This is coming off of I-275 South. That car plunged around 40 feet into the parking lot of the Water Resources Treatment Center in St. Petersburg. Now, this is obviously an active investigation going on behind us. We can see the car from the distance that we're standing at right now. Going to be honest with you right here. Lots of damage to that car. It appears to be a smaller vehicle. And it does appear to we do appear to see some airbags that have been deployed in that vehicle behind us. We, of course, are not showing you that car at this time because of the graphic nature. We also do not know at what point in the investigation these FHP officers are at and whether they've been able to retrieve the body of that driver from the car at this point. But the investigation still actively going on behind us, both in the parking lot of the water treatment center as well as up above on that I-375 on ramp. They are looking over to see if they can figure out what exactly led to this crash here. I will tell you it was raining here in St. Pete at the time of this crash. Now officials have not said whether that played a part in this crash, but the roads are still wet out here, so that's something to be mindful of. If you're heading out the door, be sure to slow down a little. Make sure you're being safe. We'll bring you extra details as soon as we get them, as soon as FHP provides those details as to what led up to this crash uh, leading to the death of that driver. Reporting live in St. Pete, McKenna King, ABC Action News.